Hello everybody, this is Valhalla Gaming TV, it's the channel that plays everything so you don't have to. Today we are back again with Satisfactory and this is part 43 in the series. And today, we are going to work on the sulfur mine. We're going to get a sulfur extractor and we're going to build a little factory for it. So we can get some research going. I'm going to build it up here. And then I'll get like an extractor over there and bring it this direction. But I think I'm out of, yep, out of concrete. So I got to go get some concrete so we can build a platform. And we get the factory going. All right, be right back. Okay, I got myself some concrete, but I did get a little ahead of myself. We can't really build a sulfur mine without uh, having some power up there. So I'm gonna have to get the power lines and bring them up the road. But before I do that, I'm going to remove this conveyor belt. And then I'm gonna use this storage, or maybe I'll build a bigger one. So let's do this. Build a little bit of a bigger one. Organization, industrial storage, something like that. I'll put this bad boy right there. And we'll use this place to just make sure I have a surplus of biofuel. So we got the wood that goes into this one. Put all the wood in there. And put all the leaves in here. There they go. Might as well upgrade all this. Make it fast. There it goes. It's gonna roll on this way. Wait, didn't I already do something over here? Oh yeah. That was when I was putting the biomass in there. Don't really need that now. And that's just gonna go over there and it's gonna keep making the biomass. That way I have fuel for my jetpack. Just on standby. Okay, let's head uh, back to the road. And once I get over to the area I need to, uh, I'll come back to you guys and show you what I'm gonna be doing with the power lines. Okay, we are where the power line is. The green ones are gonna be the main power. So I'm going to use these bad boys to go all the way up here up to the other area so but I gotta bring it all the way along the road because that's where I'm gonna be bringing the power and I think eventually when I unlock trains I can use that to transport power which would be a lot cleaner I think that's what I'll be doing in the future but for now this is where we're at and I don't know if I want to go across like at this point I guess I could yeah let's go across this side okay so we can know it could reach also, I, I learned something new, which I wish I knew before I built all these roads. Okay, so you see how I have it like this, and it only goes like... Actually, look at that. It's rotating slowly now. But basically, you're only doing like 45s. Now, if I hold down control, you can do really small, like, I think it's like five degree movements. So I could have made a really good rotation that way but you have to put it on top of a foundation to do that. Because if you put it down next to a foundation, even holding control, it still does the 45s. But if you put it on top of one, now you hold down control and you can rotate and you can do small increments, which would have been a much smoother road. So that's something I'm gonna have to work on. Okay, let's uh, get the power going. I'm gonna get the power platform. Line this bad boy up right here. And we're just going to repeat the process all the way up. I'll basically grab this, see how long the power uh, will go. And then I'll place them in two by three areas on the sides of the road. All the way until we get to the sulfur area. So I'll see you guys when I get there. Okay, we are back where the sulfur factory is going to be. Now I just got to build this little platform here. And then put up the old power platform. I got this thing set up where I just line the ladder up like that and connect it and we got power all the way up here I'll show you guys what it looks like real quick so basically I made two by three platforms all the way up the, the road leading all the way up to the factory and then I painted them all like lime green to indicate that they're part of the main power line and you kind of see how it goes and wraps around down there too and it goes all the way in that valley too. 
So it's all connected. And now that we have the power all the way up here, we can start building the factory because we have it to power it. And I got more concrete too, so now I can extend the platform. So let's get working on that. This platform, I'm not sure how big it needs to be because I've never made a sulfur factory. And what things we're going to make with sulfur, I'm not sure. But let's make it wide enough, I guess. It looked like it almost didn't go all the way down. Okay. We'll bring it to like that. And then on this side here. So I got to remember, uh, a lot of times I want to have a connection to trucks just in case. So I guess the front here, like if we were traveling up, we would go from this direction. This would be the lane. It would turn come up here. And then I'd want to be able to hit the truck factory, which would be like lined up in this area. Or I could even go straight through. That would be interesting. Maybe I can do something like that. Like this road goes straight through and then the factory is on both sides. And it has like, it goes over the top. That would be pretty cool. I'm going to try something like that. Let's get creative. Let's make things aesthetically pleasing. Which I haven't been doing very much. So I definitely got to work on that. Hello, poison plant. I'm hoping that if I get some bombs, I can uh, get rid of you. No more of you. I don't got to worry about it. Because you know that thing's going to try to poison me. Okay. So, right through the center here, it's going to be one, two, three, four, five. Five wide. And it's going to go through here. I have a problem, though. Can I get rid of this? I think I can. If I can cut this down, we're good. Oh. We're good. Nice. I'm happy about that. All right, let's go down. Let's make this bad boy big. There we go. And now we're going to put some walls up. We're going to do something... Well, not quite walls. Let's do some windows. Can't have enough windows. I think I'm going to have a... Like a glass problem. A silica. Definitely going to need that. That's just going to be a layout so I know where things are going to go. And then this one over here, you're going straight down this way. There we go. Okay. And then this area in the middle, we can have different truck connections. Like right this way and like over here. Also gave it a little bit more room. So it should be good. Okay. Let's, uh, first thing we need to do is come over here and get this sulfur node. But before we do that, I'm going to go out this way a little bit. And then I'm going to make like a little room that goes right over here. That's not quite over the road yet, so we're okay. And then this room over here, we're going to have the special stuff. So we'll have um, a crafting bench. Can't go wrong with that. Um, let's do the equipment workshop first. It's bigger. Put it over here in the corner. God, I wish I could see from above. Is that far enough? That looks like it's okay. It's always a pain placing these sometimes. Okay, and now let's get the crafting bench. I'll kind of just line them up in a row. I think that'll be okay. Crafting bench. And the ma'am. There's the ma'am. We can probably put that one a little further back. I'll put it right there. There we go. We got the ma'am. Now, if we go to sulfur... Yeah, there's a lot of stuff I still got to do with this. Turbo fuel. Oh, and I didn't think about it. We might need some coal and stuff, too, up here. Well, we'll figure it out. We can always have trucks deliver. 
Let's see. Is there any coal nodes nearby? Come on, big money. Tell me there's coal. Oh, no, those are the ones I have. Come on. Oh, it's so far away. Nope. I've already utilized them. Coal's becoming a little bit of a problem. It's like nowhere near, besides the stuff that I already tapped into. Yep, I might have to just use a truck to come up here with it. And the problems keep persisting. Okay, so I built this. That way I can get some portable miners. I need two of these. That way I can produce the MK2 miner. Let's go over here and put it down. Right over by the poison. My favorite stuff. Okay. Production MK2 mining. And for this, I guess I can just max it out. If I need to. Um, so this one, it's a pure sulfur mine. So it's gonna... I didn't mean to do that. Uh, it's gonna be making quite a bit. So we got 240 coming out of this bad boy. Okay. Let's lift you up. Let's pull it this way. There we go. Over here. Okay. So we're going to probably pull this in. Since we can build further out, I'm definitely going to do that. I don't want to have not enough room. It'd be better just to like remove some of it if I need to, rather than night. Oh, I built the whole thing and there's not enough. And then I gotta rebuild it all. Okay, that should be good. And then over here, I'm going to pull in the sulfur. Oh, radiation. Let's do it right here. Let's see logistics. We're gonna put the conveyor hole. Let's do it right. Right in the center of the foundation. That should work. And then we'll have an MK3 lift underneath. And there we go. Now let's bring this bad boy all the way to it. He doesn't want to mess up. <laughs> okay, lift it up. And... Oh, I gotta mess around with it. It's going the wrong way. You wanna receive. There we go. I guess I could raise it up. Let's raise it up a little bit. Like right there, maybe? Ooh, lined it up. Nice. Okay. And the other thing we need to do Let's get some power to the miner. But how are we going to do that? That is the question. What we're going to do, we're going to get the walls. I'm going to do the uh, thing on here where... Let's see. We're going to do glass, but maybe we'll alternate. Like, we'll have a wall here. And go up one, two, three, four, five tall. And then one, two, three. Let's do something like that. Five tall. And we'll use less glass, but we can still see through it. Five tall. One, two. There we go. Five tall. Okay. And then we're also going to get power. Double wall outlets. Put it right in the center. We're going to connect these things all the way down. That way we got some power. Just like that. And not only do we got power there, we can also pull it all the way over here. The wire is too long. How dare you? So I guess we'll have one pull. There we go. Now, let's build around the building. Okay, what we're going to do is continue the walls on this side as well. Go up five. Over two. Up five. And let's see how this goes. 
Okay, we're gonna do some more wall over here. And I did the windows over here, but I'm running out of silica, so I'm gonna leave those open for where the windows are supposed to be. One, two. Get rid of that one. That one. That one. Now we're at the end here. And I'm thinking here we'll put a door. And we'll build the wall up. Probably a door here too, actually. We'll do a double door. Two ways in. And then on this side, we will go up again. And continue it all the way down. Okay, so it's a little interesting because it's not completely symmetrical here. It's not like a 10 by 10 or anything. So the numbers didn't line up, so I had to do a double wall there. And then just continue it this way. I could do a double wall there, but I'm just going to leave that one open as like a, a window box for the special stuff. And then we can connect all these wires to wrap them around. So there's plugins, which I'm going to do now. Okay, we got the wires connected. And from here, we're going to go this direction. And I'm probably going to put up another wall right here for this one. Let's grab the wall and go up five. Now let's grab this bad boy, put it here. Go over this side. And plug her in. There we go. And plug this directly. Let's make sure it's plugged in on the right side. Right into the power. So all this should be powered up now. And the miner should be going too. Oh, looks like it's green. Should be bringing in sulfur anytime. Okay, now let's see what kind of stuff we can make. Let's go to the production. Let's go to uh, the constructor. What kind of stuff can you do with sulfur? Biomass, power shards. Okay, we got alternate bio coal. Wait, we can make different coal? Oh, what? We can make coal with, oh, that's cool. Okay, let's see. I'm not seeing anything here for that. Uh, smelter maybe? Nope. So it looks like uh, assembler. Got circuits. Uh, here we go, black powder. Yep, we need coal. Alternate coal? Compact coal. Oh uh, yeah, we can make that too. Okay, we gotta figure out how to get coal over here. That's gonna be the issue. So we gotta get a truck. I know we got plenty of coal down there at the power factory, so we'll just have to have a truck drive all the way up here. Interesting. And we're gonna have to bring it in. So we gotta make a truck factory. Like I was thinking in the first place. So transport, truck station, and this bad boy is going to be like right over here. Let's make sure there's enough room. God, it makes it so difficult to place things. Okay. If I'm in the center, yeah, it's still offset. Something like that. Let's see what that looks like. Ooh, look how close everything is. Okay, we want to move it a little bit further forward. Okay, truck station. How's that? I don't even think that's more forward. It's right on that point. Try that again. Right there. That should work. Okay. And it's going to come in right here. Oh, I lined it up. Perfect. Nice. And then it can come this way and wrap around. Turn back out. That'll work. And then we'll bring coal in through here. And also... Well, I guess we can have it transport around for fuel, too. Okay, so we can plug her in. Now we got power. Now let's get the old tractor. 
I don't think I got anything on me to power it. I do have stuff to make some biofuel, actually. No coal, though. So let's craft some biofuel real quick. Okay, we made 204 biofuel. I'm starting to think that I should have put arrows on the road here. That way I know where to drive, but I'm gonna have to guess it out. Okay, open this up. Put that in there. I don't want to put all 200 in there. I don't got nothing for my jetpack. I'll put 104. And hopefully that's enough. Okay, drive tractor. You're going to come right up this road. Okay, we got to start recording. Put this thing like right here. And then start recording. Let's go forward. I'm gonna go right into the area. Loading cargo. I guess we wanna unload, don't we? Unload. There we go. And then get moving. Let's do a little turn here. There we go. Not the best turn, but we got it. And take this turn here. We're gonna have to cruise all the way down the road. I guess it's the first time I get to test the road. Should be interesting. Just gotta make sure I stay in the lane. Which again is really hard to do when you don't got no you know, a reference besides those little grooves. Oh, this is going to be hard. I guess that was right. Toggle the headlights. Oh, they were already on. You can't even see. All right, we got enough biofuel. We'll make it. Rolling in hot. All right, slow down a little bit. Go down this way. But I can't see nothing. I'm somehow still on this uh, the right area. <laughs> and turn here. Oh my god. It's definitely gonna have to get fuel every time it makes this trip. Okay, let's make this turn again. This is definitely an interesting turn. God, I wish I knew how to uh, do those small movements that initially. I would have been able to make the, uh, the road much more smooth. But for now, this is what we have. Okay, I think I'm on the right path still. Oh man. All right, now we're gonna come down. We're gonna take a left here. This is where we're gonna pick up the coal. turn. Oh, that was not a good turn. Coming in hot. Okay. Load me up. Give me that coal. I'm about to cruise all the way back. Loading up. Definitely going to want to have a lot. And done. Let's head back up. We gotta drive all the way to the top again. So I'll meet you guys back up there. Okay, we made it. This path is long. Okay, uh, let's open up this crafting bench. Get rid of that, I'll take the biofuel. And now it should have a ton of coal, look at that. So it should be able to fuel itself. And now I'm gonna get on this tractor. Let's hide the path by hitting X and let's, uh, let's see, open up the record menu, enable autopilot. All right, get to work. Do your job, little tractor. I should start loading this thing up. Look at that. Very cool. Now I need to make it where I can take them out and also split it off so I can refuel in here too. But it's gonna get plenty of coal now. Okay, let's go to logistics. 
MK3 lift. Put that one right over here. And then let's see, how are we gonna do this? Something like that. And that'll go that way. And then again, we'll do something like this. Let's do a straight one. We're gonna wanna, not straight one, we wanna rotate it. Something like that. And then grab this. And we can rotate it like this. Uh, maybe a little higher. See if I can line it up with that one. Is that lined up? That looks lined up to me. And then basically have a merger. That takes them all out. And then I'll do the same thing here, where I do this one, rotate it. I don't know why he keeps trying to spin all the way around. I guess it's gonna be something like that. Now the problem is that it's gonna get in the way of this one. I'll have to put it like further forward. That way I can still have a lift here. That's going to push it in. Yeah, see, that's that's a little problematic. We'll just have it like this. We'll rotate this one out as well. Like that. It's gonna go right into it. Mow truck. Okay, let's get rid of this. Let's get this one. Because definitely that's gonna be important. And then... This one's cool too, but actually we can just go like that, I guess. Yeah, and then the other one go above it. And then this one's gonna go like that. Okay, <laughs> we got a lot, of, uh, a lot of things plugged in here. So what we wanna do here is pull this out so we can get some, uh, we want a splitter so we can get some coal in here. So, let's try that out. Uh, before we do that, we're probably going to want to have an opening here, like in the wall, for some conveyors. And I don't think it's going to line up right. I'm thinking maybe we'll just leave a hole open. Just have them come in like that. Doesn't look very good though, does it? like having it all closed off. We don't got no like half walls or anything. We just got these bad boys. Whale mo truck. I guess that's how it's going to work. And then from here, we're going to have it like that, raise it up. So there's that. And then we're going to get one of those splitters. Where are you at? You're on the bottom. Just like this. And then you're going right over here. Now we got some coal going in there. So when it comes back, a little tractor that could, when he eventually makes it back, then it should be able to fuel itself up here too. And we'll be good to go. I wonder where that tractor is. It's got quite a distance to go. Should be seeing it like drive up the hill or something. Oh, there he is. Look at him. Here he comes. He's cruising. That's awesome. He should be bringing more coal to us now. So we're going to have coal coming in and we got our sulfur. Perfect. And then here... I'm going to go probably a little further. I got to figure out where I'm going to pipe everything in at. I know that I have the sulfur coming in over here. So we need assemblers. Oh god, radiation. How dare you. Okay, uh, let's grab an assembler. 
What stuff are we going to make? I know we can make compacted coal and black powder, which is basically the same thing. Like, uh, not the same thing, but the recipe is the same as coal and sulfur. This one only needs one, though. Let's see what we're looking at. 15 coal per minute, 15 sulfur per minute. Okay. How much coal are we going to be bringing in per minute doing this? I think it tells you. 487 items per... Oh, yeah, look, it's full. I was bringing in a lot. Okay, we should be all right with that. And we got the sulfur over here. This will be coming in this way. If I quit hurting myself. Let's grab the logistics. MK3. And you're coming in this way. Just bring it straight down here. We'll figure it out as we go. And then I could bring the coal straight over and have it be above it. And then both can go into the assembler areas. So we can just get an assembler. We're going to make a bunch of sulfur here. That's what we're going to do. Not sulfur, but um, the black powder. So assembler. Radiation again, because I, I love it. We're going to go from this area. So it's in it's into it. So we got to pull it forward. Probably like right there. Let's see what that looks like. That might be too far forward. We can go back a little bit. Let's uh, let's try to put one next to it. Like that and we'll go see what that looks like. Yeah, that should be okay. Let's try it that way. So let's uh let's get one of these done. And from there we can plug in a splitter. And don't worry, we got we got plugins, okay? We we can power this. We got plenty of power lines. So let's get that splitter going. Logistics. I know I got them down here. I like looking. Okay, I like looking. Don't judge me. Okay, we got splitter. Is that lined up with that? Yeah, it looks like it. Okay. And then another splitter right here. You gotta remember, we got like 240 coming in here. That got messed up. So we got plenty. 240. I can probably upgrade that to 300. Oh, even more than that, probably. Okay. You're going in there. You go there. Let's get that MK3 lift. Something like this. And something like that. And now we need to pull this coal straight over here. Let's uh, line it up straight. Why you at a weird angle like that? Okay, straighten it out. Lift it up. I think that's too high. I guess we'll find out. And now... Stackable conveyors. I think that's the right height it needs to be at. Let's see this all the way over here oh, I get wrecked by radiation let's go this way some splitters line them up just like that and then this you're gonna go over here Right over this way. Raise it up. Another splitter. Line it up with this. Not very lined up. It's okay. We can remove that. Oh, we can't reach, can we? Okay. Again, not straight. But we can straighten it up like this. Pull it back a little bit. It just likes being at an angle, doesn't it? So 
loves to be at an angle. Why you got a problem going straight, man? What's your problem? I think even even the splitter's got a problem. What are we dealing with here? Oh, I think I messed up in the first place. That was what that's what happened. Yeah, go out straight. Let's look straight onto it, make sure this time. Kinda hard to tell. Tell me you're straight now. Okay, I think it's straight. Splitter. You're going in there. Pulling you all the way down here. It'll stop having a weird freak out. <laughs> and now go up. And now we'll move this splitter and line it up properly. With where it's got to plug into. Again, if I can see it. Come on. Wait a minute. No, I want a merger. That's why it's having an issue. I have no idea if that's straight or not. Definitely isn't. Okay, we gotta go a little bit over this way. A little bit like right here. That good for you? Oh no, we did want a splitter. Oh, trucker. Okay, splitter. And we wanted to come in from this direction. Pop. Is it still where it's supposed to be? No. It lied. Okay, that's where it needs to be though. Splitter, why are you why are you doing this to me? Oh my god. Okay. Maybe I can just pull this through. Let's just do this. Let's pull this through. Straight through here. Lift it up. Something like that. Let's get a splitter. There we go. That should work. No more weird issues. Plug it in. And you're going out that way. So we got coal going out both ways now. And we can pull this one all the way down. And match up with the old sulfur line. And you can keep going like right there. And I guess sulfur, you can have your friend coal above you. There we go. Let's see what these bad boys are doing now. Nothing. Because you need black powder. And we don't got coal coming in because I don't think they're plugged in here. There you go. And there you go. There's your coal. And then this one, we'll just copy. Place. Got ourselves some of the black powder coming. And then over here, I want to have a merger. I guess I'll use the hot bar. Uh, get rid of this. We don't need that. And merge. Well, I guess it'll be fine there. It thinks it's clipping. Boom. There we go. We have plenty of coal coming through now. It's splitting here, but then we also have it coming in this way. And now anything we want to output, we can do through those. If we want like a truck to pick it up or something. At the moment, I'm not really too interested in that. Look at that, we got black powder going. But we can do a lot more assemblers. Uh, we should check the power though. That would be a good idea. Power, what you doing? What are we at? 3,197 is the max, and we got 4,500. Okay, we still got some room. We're not in the danger zone yet. Okay. 
Looking pretty cool. He's got to utilize more, so let's get these assemblers going. Uh, I think here we can do that. Let's see. Yeah, that's okay. Got a little bit of clipping, but it's not the end of the world. Let's see what we got here. How close can we put it? Oh, that's a little too much clipping. <laughs> okay. Let's pull it out a little bit. There you go. Another one here. Another one there. And one more for the road. And this is going to be all pulling in the black powder. There we go. Now we just got to get it all connected. Now let's control C. Nope. Did I paste in there? I did. Okay. Well, I guess that'll work. Hit the wrong button. Now I got an inventory full of stuff I don't need at the moment. Uh, so I guess you can eat this and you can eat that too. Enjoy. Give you a little coal since I got too much of it. And let's give you like two of them. Enjoy. Sort that up. Let's get this stuff built in the back. So we're gonna need to get the lifts. There we go. Do it all the way down. And then we got another one over here we gotta do. Yep. That might not work here. We might have to do this one over on this side. That way there's room for the splitter. Oh my god, I double clicked and did two. Alright, splitter time. You're going this direction. And we gotta go a little further here. But we don't need a splitter here, so we can just be like... I guess I can just do this. Come over here. Boom. I guess that'll work. So you're getting coal, and now we gotta go underneath. We gotta get this all lined up. Split. Uh, we need to get it in this one. And we got this in the way now. So we don't need it. Let's see. Get the splitter. You lined up? I can't see, man. Oh. Saw it for a second. Almost. Just doesn't want to show me it. There it goes. That one's working. Okay. Plug them all in. I think we're in business. Got ourselves a black powder factory. And I think we needed one more here or no? We got them all. Wait a minute, what's going on here? Uh, why aren't you coming out? You too good, Splitter? Splitter's too good. It ain't working. Maybe it wasn't lined up right. There it goes. Okay. And that should be plenty, I think. Let's see, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven times 15. 30 past, 17. Yeah, it's like 95, I think. No, I did that wrong. Okay, it's 105. Which, it's not even close to using all the sulfur we have here, which is good. Because we can split some of the sulfur off, and we can also use that, like, over this direction to make some of the compacted coal. Things like that. But for now, let's get all this going. Um, we're gonna pull this off into a storage, which we can probably put our storage over here. Organization, industrial storage. Let's do something like this. You go there. Can we fit? 
Or is that too tall? No, that's good. We can stack it. Okay. And then, if I don't get radiated again, we can do like a splitter here. So logistics. Let's go with conveyor splitter. We don't want to... Actually, yeah, we can do it this way. So we can go like this. Before we do that, we want to merger here. So let's merge them all together. Now we go out this way. We got the mergers and we got to do the splitter right here. So let's line them up. And then one of them will come out this way. And then the other one is going to go up the wall here. Line up with that one. Boom. There we go. And so all we got to do is hold this straight out here. And we're in business. Start putting them in there. Look at them. Oh, yeah. Look at them go. Look at all of them go. Nice. Okay. Let's get these all connected. Like that. Make sure you stay lined up. And we should have a bunch of black power powder going into storage and automated. We finally got a sulfur thing going. Oh, that one was wrapping around. Look at all that. Oh, there's so much. Look at it fill up. So much black powder. What can we do with black powder? Let's go over here real quick. Um, sulfur. What do you need? Okay. Detonator. We don't got that plastic stuff yet. We don't got that stuff yet. Oh, we can get another hand equipment slot. Let's grab that. Expand the old tool belt. Tell me, Ada. Tool belt expanded. I compounded sulfur's tristatic atom matrix into a quadrimensional gate vortex. You can now carry more stuff. That sounded very, very complex. Okay, let's do this one. Noblisk detonator. Detonator and basic nobilisk unlocked. Most obstacles can be cleared with the basic nobilisk. It is most effective against organic material and is able to destroy small boulders and porous rock. Deployed nice. nobilisks will stick to the first solid surface they touch and cue on the universal detonator. If you do not recall the order in which you deployed the nobilisks, remember Fixit does not take responsibility for any harm caused due to human error, even if those errors are genetic. <laughs> so basically calling me special. It's not our fault if you're special. Okay. Oh, we can get the shattered rebar. That would be cool. Power slugs. We don't got none of that stuff. Mycelia. Okay. We can work towards this as well. Still need that plastic stuff. Oh, I can do that one. A power switch. Oh, I think that's what I need, actually. I need to get those AI modules and then I can do the power switch. Then I can actually have that for each one of the buildings. Oh, that's what I need. Alien technology. Don't got that. Okay. Well, this, my friends, looks like it's the end of this episode. We got ourselves the, well, not the road, but we got the sulfur factory going. It doesn't look super cool at the moment, but we'll finish it up later. And, uh, why is this yellow? Why are these all yellow? They don't got coal. Hold on. I'll keep you with me for a second. Okay, that one's not yellow. They weren't even working. No yellow. We're good. Okay, now there's just gonna be so much coming through. 
It's making 30 per minute. Oh my god. Yeah, we'll have plenty. Okay, let me do my outro again. All right, everybody. This is the Sulfur Factory. And we built it. We'll make it look better later. And uh, next episode, we're going to build the road further and try to get to the other oil filled down there. And uh, then we're going to get that oil up here. Which I don't know is a, if that's a good idea. But I'm going to do it. That's what we're doing. All right, everybody. See you in the next one. Later. Hey, Valhalla Gaming TV community. Join me in a quick shout out of our community members that help support the channel. Check out our very first member of Odin's Ravens, Leu02. Thank you for your support and see you all in the next video.